As we continue our Finding Hope series, Six on Your Side is shedding light on mental health. Perinatal mood and anxiety disorders affect one in seven women as they adjust to becoming a new parent. One of the most common is postpartum depression. This morning, one Boise mom shares her experience with our Jillian Garrigues in an effort to help other families in this morning's Finding Hope. This is Croy. He's my second. Marielle Kessler faces the same struggles as many new mothers. A lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, just unable to control any situation. She's one of thousands experiencing perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, different forms of mental illness associated during pregnancy or after the birth of a child. Kessler dealt with postpartum depression and anxiety after her first child and again with her second. The first few months were really, really rough with sleep. Sleep deprivation and trouble breastfeeding had a big impact on her emotions as well as hormonal fallout. So when a woman's pregnant, um, her estrogen and progesterone are really high, actually by the end of pregnancy. After about two minutes to two hours after delivery, estrogen goes about to one two hundredth of a percent and progesterone goes to zero. So th that is a huge fallout of hormones. Trista Kovach is Kessler's perinatal mental health counselor at St. Alphonsus. She uses cognitive behavioral therapy to help new parents adjust. We can't control a lot of what's going on around us, babies in particular. They're going to cry, they're going to be up at night. So it's learning how to get to a breathing place where we can get calm and centered and then change the way you're thinking about the same situation. It takes practice. Sounds simple, but it, it can be kind of daunting at times. Trista does this thing called snap, stop, and breathe. Yeah, I get a stretchy bracelet or a, a colored rubber band or something like that, and it's just an idea to get you to stop and breathe. The other thing I have women do is just count everything blue in the room because when you're focused on something, you can't be anxious. Kovach says new parents should also remember the basics. Drink water, eat healthy meals with protein consistently, take a walk outside, and most importantly, sleep. We want to get creative with sleep solutions because we know that sleeping well or at least getting chunks of sleep can combat like 75% of anxiety and depression. And Kessler wants other moms to know you're not alone. Don't be afraid to reach out and get help. Your hormones really are kind of taking over and so you're not yourself but you can get through it. It feels so debilitating. It feels like you can't really get out of that dark place when you're in it, but hopefully you can. Jillian Garrigues, six on your side. So what are some of the signs to look for? Kovac says signs of postpartum depression and anxiety are feelings of hopelessness and worthlessness, significant crying, feeling sad and miserable, overwhelmed and worried, and having scary intrusive thoughts. There are many support groups available at St. Alphonsus. We have that information linked on this story at sixonyourside.com.